Welcome to day four in our devotional series on living and loving like Jesus. This week we've been talking about the topic of risk. And so I want to give you a practical risk to take today. Uh, this is something that maybe you've never done before. Maybe you're used to doing all the time. I don't know. If you do it all the time, maybe think of a, a, a different creative way to do this. But I want you to do basically two things. I want you to pray for someone and let them know about that. And that's not in like a religious way. That's not in like a look at me type of way. But I think there is a way when people know that there's people who care for them, they, they authentically sense that and they're appreciative for that. And so uh, I'll provide you with some of the basic ways that I have done that in my own life. And, uh, and some of it does require a little bit of paying attention to the details to do that. Uh, the first one is uh, sometimes I put it on Facebook and I say, hey, I'm going, to, I'm going before the Lord tonight and uh, I just want to pray for you. So if you have a prayer need, please either leave it in the comment section or put it, uh, send me a message. And you'll be surprised at the amount of people who actually reach out to me to ask for prayer. The other is maybe you're paying attention or you hear things that are going on in other people's lives, whether you see it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or uh, you hear uh, something from someone. Uh, but if you have a moment where you hear you know, something going on in someone else's life and you have a way to contact them, take a moment to just like genuinely go before the Lord and pray for that person. Uh, and then, you know, reach out to them and just said, hey, I heard about or I saw uh, about what's going on with you. I just want to let you know that I, I prayed for you. Uh, another way, which is probably the scariest of all of the ways, but, you know, I've had an opportunity to do these things before. Um, and it's a little bit more difficult considering uh, our current circumstances with social distancing. Um, but, you know, keep your eyes out in public. Um, you know, I know in the past, maybe maybe you can remember this post pandemic. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll see people uh, in you know various situations, and you know I'll go up to them and provide some help for them, uh, and then uh, ultimately you know I'll ask them, hey, is it okay that I if I pray for you? And I gotta tell you guys, 100% uh, of the people that I have ever asked to pray for have accepted that offer. Uh, I have n never found a person who's ever, you know, turned me away. I mean, I, I think even some people that are very non-religious or maybe even atheistic, they're like, you know, what does it hurt, right? Um, you, I think those opportunities to practically pray for people and to take that risk and let them know uh, that you're doing that and just, you know, being there for them is a way to provide some care. And so that's all I want you to do today is look for an opportunity to either pray for someone and let them know, uh, provide opportunity to, you know, let people tell you what the, that you could pray for or look for an opportunity uh, to pray to see somebody's situation and, and spend the time, pray for them and let them know that you've done that. And I got to tell you, I think that will bring uh, more joy uh, into your life this day than maybe anything else that you might do today. So I hope you take that risk today and pray for someone. Have a blessed day.